Bismillahir Rahmanir Rahim. Assalamu Alaikum, guys. How to find depth of foundation? Yes, of course, it's very important for civil engineering students and also for civil engineers which are working on construction site. How to find depth of foundation? In this video, guys, I will give you guidelines with the help of Rankine's formula. This is the specific formula which I am telling you in this video how to find depth of foundation. And many students they are telling me, sir, is there any specific formula by which we can find minimum depth of foundation? Yes, of course, there is specific formula. If you don't have design and you want to find depth of foundation, so you can find depth of foundation with the help of Rankine's formula minimum depth of foundation and guys if you don't have any structure design so in many videos i have already discussed the depth of foundation should not be less than one meter with the reference of is code indian standard code but here i will give you informations for how to find depth of foundation with the help of rankin's formula when you follow Rankine's formula then you are able to find the minimum depth of foundation so let's start guys and for more students it's important in, um, in many interviews they can ask from you what is the depth of foundation what is the specific formula for depth of foundation minimum depth of foundation so it's important for you so therefore you must watch this video from start to end then you're able to learn something okay about foundation guys we will use the formula to find depth of foundation that is called rankin's formula rankin's formula okay by which we can find what depth of foundation minimum depth of foundation okay guys the formula is for depth of foundation that is minimum depth okay minimum depth of foundation with the help of Rankine formula minimum depth of foundation that is d is equal p divided by w into 1 minus sin theta divided by 1 plus sin theta this is formula and square or square this is the specific formula to find depth of foundation as you can see what should be the depth of foundation as you can see this is depth so how we can find the depth of foundation with the help of Rankine's formula now guys here is a question what is d okay so where d okay d means depth of foundation okay and now p this one okay so p is structure load structure load on foundation or you can say building load this is building load p okay also i will tell you uh, the units for p for structure load now guys here is w okay this is density of soil density of soil density of soil in which you are making foundation so density of this soil 
in which you are making house construction okay our house so this is the density of that soil in which you are making foundation right now guys here is the uh, so one minus sine theta so sine theta uh, sine is a sine so what is theta okay so that is called guys angle of repose angle of repose or internal friction of soil internal friction of soil okay now guys i will explain what is d so i have already discussed d is depth of foundation okay this is depth of foundation okay so we will find depth of foundation guys p is structural load on foundation or building load on foundation total load of building that is called p which unit is n kg per meter square because we have different types of load in building okay and that load comes on the foundation there is a uh, dead load or self load okay a foundation or um, of materials and also live load okay earthquake load etc that is called structure load on foundation or building load which comes on the foundation which unit is kg per meter square okay the load should become on the foundation n kg per meter square now guys the second one is in other side that is w which is density of soil as you know we have different uh, density of soil for a uh, different types of soil okay and density of the soil is also depend on the bearing capacity of the soil okay and which unit is kg per meter cube okay density of the soil or weight of soil same thing okay guys density of the soil is depend on the different types of soil in which you make foundation but we will keep the density of the soil in which you are making foundation not other types of soil so first of all we will find density of soil okay maybe it is 2000 kg per meter cube r 25 or 23 100 kg per meter cube okay because we have different types of soil okay uh, glass soil wet soil and uh, uh, gravel soil we have different types of soil so therefore different types of soil has different density so maybe that is 2000 uh, kg per meter square or the uh, 2000 or the 2300 kg per meter square maybe 1500 are 1800 okay are 1800 between 1800 to uh, 2300 kg per meter cube so it's depend on the different types of soil in which you are making foundation and the other one is guys angle of repose what is angle of repose are internal friction of soil guys you can see this is soil okay this is soil and you can see the soil become like this okay so when you can see this angle is called angle of repose this is called angle of repose this is soil okay this is soil when it make the angle here so this angle is called angle of repose and for different soil we have different angle of repose so but for normal we have what 25 uh, 25 to 30 angle okay and also uh, some soil angle of uh, angle of repose is uh, 15 to 20 okay 15 to 20 angle it it's depend on the different soil or you can check 
practically on the side angle of repose easily okay with the help of sile symbol okay now guys these are uh, the proof of this formula when you put all the values in this for example d depth of foundation for example if the p is okay our structure load is for example uh, if i say Fifteen hundred, okay, kg per meter square, okay. So divide by what W, which is for example, I have twenty three hundred kg. That is okay, but I will not put the kg because this is calculation. And into one minus sine theta and also one plus sine theta. Then you can find angle of repose. So if that is twenty five, okay. And also one plus uh, sine twenty five under root. When you do calculation with the help of calculator, you can find easily uh, depth of foundation, minimum depth of foundation. But guys, on the other side, I will also give you informations for foundation. I have already discussed in many videos from IS. Quote, minimum depth of foundation should not be less than 1000 mm or 1 meter but guys also depth of footing this is also from is code okay the depth of footing should be 1.5 times of its width times of its width okay 1.5 times for example guys if we have the footing if the footing are if the depth is uh, width is 1 meter if this is 1 meter so the depth should be 1.5 meter that's why because 1.5 times of its width the depth of foundation okay but guys also i will tell you here this is from practical experience for six story till six story building you can keep depth of foundation okay from 1.5 to 2 meters okay it should be the depth of foundation to 6 story you can keep okay if that is also commercial building so you can keep the depth of foundation to 2 meters okay so guys uh, if you know about the specific formula so you should know about this formula and i have already explained in which you can put the values which can give you the minimum depth of foundation as it so guys if you have any question related with this topic how to find depth of foundation are related with this formula so you can comments i will try to reply your answer thanks for watching see you in next video goodbye